Hey guys, Dr. Five here with episode number 30 of our Brentford career on Football Manager 2020. As you can see, we are in a completely new season from the previous episode. And that is because in the previous episode, we had just beaten Roma in the second knockout round, 4-2. We were then drawn against Olympic Lyon. We drew 2-2 in the first leg. We won 2-1 in the second leg, putting us through to the semi-finals. We were drawn against Lazio. And that Italian side, we'd already played one Italian side, we'd brushed them aside. Come up against this one, they're, they're na well, not even their neighbours, they're, they're roommates in Lazio. And uh, they must have wanted to get revenge because they beat us 6-3 on aggregate, knocking us out. They go on to win the whole thing, beating Napoli 1-0 in the final. So give him some respect you know we did lose to the eventual winners so there's something there in the FA Cup semi-final after beating Derby County 3-2 in the quarterfinals yep 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 we lost 2-0 to Manchester United at Wembley Rashford in the 20th one Bissaka in the 76th that was us out of that that's fine we still had the Premier League we could focus on we were pushing for Champions League football one win in the last two months of the Premier League football, and only one draw, four points picked up. Yeah, that's uh, that's not really good enough, is it? 18 wins, six draws, 14 losses. So, we come into this new season. No European football. And then the most money we've signed this season is Josh De Silva. We sold him to Norwich for £27.5 million. And if we take a look, he joined the year before we signed for Brentford. First season, him and Jensen were the main two in the midfield. First season in the Premier League, he kind of backed down slightly. Season after that, he played 36 appearances. 31 starts, 5 from the bench. And last season, he only made 4. So, overall, I think he's had a good career for us. Got some vital goals for us, definitely. And, yeah. Just very, he's played well when he's come on and um, seeing him go to Norwich who are still a Premier League team and they're actually a um, they had a decent team um, if I remember correctly yeah, Tommy Asu's good Ward Prowse, they've got some good players in there um, but yeah, he's gone just under 30 million for him isn't too bad of a deal as for players in Idrissa going to we've signed for 5 million Ball winning midfielder. I thought I feel like we needed a ball winning midfielder. And uh Adrisa gonna go, he's thirty three years old. He'll probably get maybe two seasons out of him. But as a ball winning midfielder, I think he'll come in, he'll do the job when needed. Next up is the goalkeeper we signed to replace Prevo. It is Ionut Radu, the Romanian twenty six year old goalkeeper. Valued at seventeen and a half million. We actually signed him for only nine point five. And he's um He's made just as many appearances for us as he has for Chelsea, Inter, and Parma. So, yeah, we, we seem to be the kind of team giving him a chance. Ourselves and Avellino were the two teams giving him a chance. So for 9.5 million, I think that's a good signing. He's an international. Good stats all round. Next up is a youngster from Blackburn. He is a young English striker. Now, what this deal was, it wasn't 20 million straight up. It was 5 million and 15 million separated over three separate years. So I think spread out is a much better deal than just 20 million straight up. He is currently valued at 27 million, so that's more than what we paid for him. But he's two and a half star current ability, five star potential, great pace, great agility and acceleration, great technique, finishing, dribbling, first touch, great composure. He, he, he is one for the future. He is going to be world class in the future. 20 years old. Capped under 19's level. He's signed a 5 year contract. So I'm not too displeased with that one. So this was kind of a pre-arranged deal. And it's for Diogo Quieros. Centre back he's going to come in and replace Chris Smalling in the first team. Him and Romagna will be our two first team centre backs. He rec only recently joined Bournemouth for 15.25, played 36 games there, got just under a 7 as his average rating, coming for us for a £5 million profit, not too bad on Bournemouth's part, played one game, 
got a 7.1. That's the same as he did in his only season where he played regular first-team football for Porto's first team. He got a 7.1. This is the player we signed from Newcastle, in which we had Shandon Baptiste go on loan the other way. Sean Longstaff, one of the Longstaff brothers. I was looking at both of them. In the end, we went with this one, the older of the two. Box-to-box -box midfielder. He's going to come into the first team, and he is going to eventually replace Jensen in the first team. It's going to be Misovic and Sean Longstaff as the two midfielders in there, in the middle. Uh, looks very, very good as a box-to-box. -box. 14 finishing, 16 passing, 16 work rate, 16 teamwork, 13 determinations, not too bad. Only a few of his stats are, or well, three of his stats are in the whites and greys. Heading, long throws, and penalty taking. These two don't matter. Heading, we can improve that. And then the most expensive, but by far the best signing we've made so far in this career, Jude Bellingham, the 20-year-old left winger from the Birmingham Academy. Signed for Watford for £14 million. They got relegated. We activated his relegation release clause. Perfect. He's come in. He's played one game against Burnley in the league. He's scored. Even better. But yeah, looking at his stats, great pace, great stamina, great agility. He's brilliant on the ball. Determination is 16 is brilliant as well. 15 dribbling, great composure. Finishing at 12 is good for a winger. Very happy to see how he develops. He's worth 34 million already, so if he fails, we can sell him on and we should make our money back, but I doubt he will fail at this club. And again, we've got him on a five year contract, so things are looking good in terms of contracts. And one game was played off camera. I actually did record this game, I did this whole, like, whole thing. In this, this, this was supposed to be the episode, but the, whilst saving the file, it, it, it like, it was a damaged file, it corrupted, so we're going to have to go for the Everton game, it was a 1-0 victory, Jude Bellingham did get the goal, side missed a penalty, Chris Wilder, their manager's Chris Wilder, so that's why they're playing this 5 of the back formation, we've got Pickford in goal, Braithwaite, Mina, Gigo, Hattaboa, Digne, Gomez and Bakayoko, Palacios and Keane and Nelson up top. Interesting to see how we'll come up against this uh, wingback formation. So, oh, Calvert-Lewin's injured, so that's why Reese Nelson's up top. And Calvert-Lewin, on who we were trying to sign. And in the end, we did go with permanently signing Pellegri. But Misovic, four minutes in. Rico Henry. Down this left-hand side. We're playing more down the wings this season. Great strike by Sean Longstaff on his first start for the club. For one minute. One minute and one goal, four minutes into the game. What a strike that was. Let's take a look at it in 3D. So Rico Henry, down this left-hand side, cuts the ball back across. No one's really marking him there. Time, space, on his stronger right foot. No way Pickford's getting to that one. Brilliant goal. Good pressing there by Jamie. Bakayoko to Gomez. Keen Romagna intercepts and finds Pellegri. Jamie now starting the counter-attack. Switches it to Matondo brilliantly. He's got the pace. He's got the finish. Not quite Pickford with a great save. From the goal kick. Radu. Oh, that was poor. Straight to Hatterbur. Over the top. Oh, keeper didn't know where to go or come. Defender didn't get past Reese Nelson. All came from that poor goal kick. Can't really blame anyone else apart from the goalkeeper there. And also very indecisive. On If you can see it here, he rushes out slightly but then... Changes his mind, shouldn't be doing that. Make your mind up. Why is Jamie coming out wide and Matondo's going in, in the middle? Matondo's got the pace. That's what we just, like, just use it. Use your pace. Oh, come on. Digne intercepts after a terrible touch and he tucks it home. That's absolutely piss poor. Two goals conceded by two mistakes from our players. That mistake, that touch... By John Joe Kenny. What the fuck is he doing there? What is that touch? What are you doing there? Misovic from the free kick. Romagna tucks it home. Really nice delivery. Lovely header by the centre back. Back on level terms. Hopefully now we can push forward. Get the third goal. Get the win. But look at this delivery. Right to the back post. Rises higher. Boom. Beats Pickford at the near post as well. Nicely done. Misovic straight away down the side puts it in the middle of the long staff. he's got time, space what's he going to do? strike it? 
Oh, loses out to Bakayoko. Quieros, though. Kenny. Much better than that first touch. Whipped across. Jude. Longstaff. Jamie. Jude Billingham. Rico Henry. Not really making the overlap there, but he does eventually get past Hatterboy. He's taken down in the box. Side's going to step up to take this pen, or is it going to be Pellegri? It's going to be Pellegri stepping up. Top goal score from last season in the Premier League. 1 1 with Pickford. Two penalties this season. Both have been saved. Longstaff's goal, though, incredible. Poor by the goalkeeper on this one. Poor by John Drew Kenny on this one. Pellegri should have scored this. But I'll take a draw. I'll take a draw. It's absolutely fine. At least we didn't lose. Because we've not got no European football this season, I do want to skip through it a bit quicker. So I'm thinking about going all the way through to December for this Man United game. They're probably the best team in the league. So maybe if we go Leicester Man United or Man United Bournemouth. No, let's go we'll go West Ham Man United because we've got a slight rivalry going on with West Ham in this save. So we'll go for the West Ham game, the first game in December. Nice to see the new season starting off. Unfortunately we're gonna get a win against Everton. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have please like, subscribe and peace.